What is up YouTube? It's your boy Gabe and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about my current growing sneaker collection and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of myself on how I became a sneakerhead. sneaker gods here my collection is just a tiny speck in that universe that being said you can't deny my love for sneakers ever since I was a kid I knew that sneakers would play a big role in my life the first time I saw a sneaker that I really liked was the Air Force One I was like really drawn into it and then a week later I saw my classmate wearing one and the rest is history I started to grow into liking more sneakers and then that translated into my passion for designing and drawing. So when I saw the Air Force once, I drew it a lot and then filling up all my notebooks with scribbles of Air Force once, trying to design my own sneaker, trying to color it my own colorway. And moving into high school, that passion grew more into being a part of the design community. So I got involved into designing more stuff because it started with that sneaker, the Air Force Ones. And in college, it just made sense to take a course that is design inclined. So I took up multimedia arts and sciences and the rest is like what I said, is history. I do what I do today because of that exact moment when I first saw that shoe. So I guess that's the history of how I became a sneaker. Let me know in the comment section below on how your love for sneakers started. Moving on to my collection, I have three levels. The first level would be the daily drivers, the beaters. The second one would be the middle tier. And the last one would be my current favorites. So let's start with the daily drivers. First sneaker would be the Adidas Pure Boost ZG. So one thing to know about this shoe is that I got this in 2016. This is my first boost model. I only use this solely for going to the gym. And I think one time hiking up a mountain. Yes, you heard that right? Boost, prime knit, hiking up a mountain. Doesn't make sense, but I did that. This shoe really got a lot of punishment from me. I got this for 7,000 pesos and for it to look like this, still presentable after all those punishment and all that time, like three years ago, it's still here, I'm still using it, and I'm still going to use it. This is a good purchase. The second sneaker that I'm going to share with you is the NMD R1 Reverse Breads. I got this in 2016 as well, like, like uh, later on that year. I was so impressed with the Boost technology that I have to have another model. This is my second daily driver. Now on to the third one. So the third sneaker that I'm going to share with you is the Vans Chili Peppers. This shoe is one solid shoe. I really like this shoe. The first time I saw this was in a Facebook group. So they were selling it for like 7,000, 6,000, something like that. So I got lucky when I was in New York, when I was walking down Soho, I saw this in one of the stores there called the General by Vans and they were selling it for 3,000 pesos. I guess that's all for the daily drivers. Moving on to the middle tier. The first shoe that I'm going to share with you is the Air Jordan 1 Black Kids. I really like this shoe. This is a good shoe. And um, I got this last year when I was also in New York. I got this, at, I think, at Foot Action. It's around 5,500 pesos, $110. And uh, with that price for a Jordan 1, with this colorway, I think that's a good steal. Moving on to the next shoe in the middle tier would be another Jordan, the Jordan 1 OG High Strap. So I really like this shoe. I got this shoe last year from the Athlete School. I think it was around 7,000 pesos, so that's $180. The straps caught my eye. 
wasn't really planning on buying this. I didn't even know that this was going to release that day. I asked, can I can I try these on? And when I did, I was like, I'm not gonna take this off. So I got it. I need to wear this more. You're gonna see more of this in my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. The links are in the description below. So moving on to the next shoe, the Nike Moon Racers. I think this is the QS. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what this shoe is called. I got this for like um, 7,000 or, or 6,000 around that area. The first time I saw this shoe was when Trinidad James was wearing this in Full Size Run. I saw it there and when I was able to see it in person, I was like, man, I need to get this shoe. This is definitely a winner. I should be wearing more of this, but I think I should put it on ice because it's starting to rain here in the Philippines. I don't want to mess it up. Now, moving on, the next shoe in the middle tier, the Paper Max Midnight Purple. And I really like this shoe. I like how it blends in with my all black aesthetic and it just gives that subtle pop of color at the bottom. I love how soft it is and the only thing I don't like about this is that it squeaks a lot. It squeaks when you're walking on tiles. Other than that, I think this is a solid shoe. So the last one in my middle tier would be the Nike M2K Techno. So as you can see, this is another one that fits my aesthetic of going all black. I really like to have that sleek, stealthy look, like all black from top to bottom. This shoe gives that, plus the pop of white at the end really elevates you from the ground. This would definitely be a keeper in my collection. Moving forward, it's time to go to my favorites. So let's start off with the Adidas LX Cons. Man, this is one of my favorites. I like the design, I like the materials they use, I like how it looks on my feet, and I like how comfy it is. I will give you a detailed review of this in the future, so let me know in the comment section below if you want this to be the first one. Okay, moving on. The next sneaker in my favorite list, the Adidas Oswego X Model Pack. This is another white shoe that I got this year. It has that similarities with the LX Con. So if you want me to do a comparison video with the LX Con, let me know in the comment section below and I will do that video soon. This is a solid shoe, you should get one too. So the next sneaker in my favorite collection is the Adidas Trust Run. This is the Asterisk Collective. This shoe is very underrated. Um, the color blocking is on point. The whole aesthetic is very appealing. It's a boost model and I believe that Kid Cudi had a take on this when they were designing it. So this is definitely a winner. The boost is very comfortable. The design is very appealing. I will be doing a detailed review of this in the future. So let me know in the comment section below if you want this to be the first shoe that I will release. Then on to the next shoe. So the next one on my list is going to be a double header. So this is a collaboration between Nike and a design company that I follow. These are the acronym collaborations. This one is the acronym Presto Nike Collab and this one would be the acronym Vapormax Nike Collab. Let's start with the Vapormax. As you can see, I really think that this shoe is super dope. Patterns on this one and then the, the Vapormax air unit. This has that tech feel, that futuristic feel and um, this is one of my favorites and I'm slowly beating this pair up because I am wearing this all almost on a daily basis. So I'm going to do a review of this also. I'm going to release that in the future, so stay tuned for that. Now let's move on to the Acrium Prestos. I like how they took the old Presto design and make it look like super modern by adding in the other elements like the straps, the zippers, and then the materials. This is one good looking shoe. Props to Acronym and Nike. I want to see another collaboration between the both of you. I'm going to put this sneaker on ice because it's starting to rain here in the Philippines and it's white and I don't want it to get ruined. So I'll be doing a detailed review of this sneaker and the Vapor Max. So let me know in the comment section below which sneaker should I do first. The 
the next sneaker in my favorite collection list is one of the loudest ones the Nike Element VF87 this shoe is so loud I really like how it looks I, I like the pink the full colorway the transparent look where you can play with the soft inside so you can add more colors nike react element is super comfortable this shoe is definitely a winner and uh, i got this in new york as well when i was there a couple of months ago and um, there are things that i like about this and there are things that i wish that um, they did a lot better but i will release that review in a future video last but not the least the shoe that would complete my collection would be the Air Jordan 4 Black Cements or what we call the Breds. This is the shoe for me. The black uppers plus the red tones. This is just the shoe that would fit all my aesthetics. So this is one of the iconic shoes that we have there from the Jordan brand. You can argue that this is one of the greatest Jordan shoe that was ever put out. So this is my most favorite shoe the one that I have on top, the Nike Air Jordan 4 Black Cements. That wraps up my collection and I hope you enjoyed. Click like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell icon below so you wouldn't miss one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed. This is your boy Gabe. See you in the next video. Peace!